Hi, my name is Robin Wong. In this video, I want to talk about how to shoot lightning with Olympus Live Composite. Let's do this. Just a few hours ago, there was lightning in the sky overlooking my balcony. I got some interesting shots, hence I'm making this video to share with you how I captured the lightning in the sky. In this video, I want to share the challenges of shooting lightning. What is live composite and how can live composite help you to capture a good lightning shot? And of course, a step-by-step -step guide to activate and use Olympus live composite. Perhaps the biggest challenge of shooting lightning is the unpredictable nature of lightning. We cannot tell when and where the lightning is going to strike. There are two solutions to this problem. The first one being using the lightning detector. Having a device to detect the change of ion charge in the atmosphere just before the lightning strikes so that this will trigger the camera's shutter to open and capture the shot. The second solution is much simpler. You don't need any additional specialist device. You just leave the shutter open for a long duration of time. And whenever the lightning strikes within your frame or your composition, you will capture that lightning in your frame. Here comes the tricky part. Since you can't predict when the lightning is going to strike, you may have to leave the shutter open for longer than intended. When the shutter of the camera is open for too long, it captures too much light, leading to an overexposed image. Now this is where Olympus Live Composite helps. With Olympus Live Composite, you can just leave the shutter open for as long as you want without worrying about the image getting overexposed. So what exactly is Olympus Live Composite mode? I will try to explain this as simply as I can. First, it is an advanced bulb mode. Bulb mode in any camera allows you to break the shutter speed limit, especially at the slower end, typically at 30 seconds or 60 seconds, and the camera will allow you to extend beyond that. Typically, it can go up to 30 minutes, one hour, or several hours. Secondly, the live composite is a composite mode, meaning that the camera will take many shots. It will take a series of images to be merged into one final composite image. Now, Olympus Live Composite allows this to happen in camera and you get to see the preview happening live as the merging of the composite is being shown on the LCD while you are shooting. Number three, Live Composite is additive brightness blending. The camera will capture a series of images, the first one being the base, and the camera will compare the first and the subsequent images. If there's any part of the images that's bright, brighter in the subsequent images, this brighter part of the images will be added and blended into the previous image. And number four, how does live composite prevent overexposure? Now think of it this way, instead of taking one single shot at 15 minutes exposure, meaning you leave the shutter speed open for 15 minutes long, capturing too much light leading to severe overexposure. The camera actually captures in live composite mode a series of many, many images in much shorter duration. Using a shorter shutter speed leads to less exposure. Say that I'm taking about, I set the camera to 30 seconds exposure each. Then the camera will take about 30 shots 30 seconds exposure times 30 shots, this leads to total 15 minutes duration. Instead of 15 minutes overexposed shot, one single shot, I get a 15 minutes live composite merging many, many shots. Each of the shots was only 30 seconds exposure. This is also valid for other types of photography, such as fireworks, light trails on the highway, or the star trail.
here are the steps on capturing lightning with Olympus Live Composite. Number one, you need lightning, obviously. This depends on luck. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't, sometimes you're facing the wrong position. But hey, keep trying, eventually you get some amazing lightning shots. Number two, you need a sturdy tripod. Mount your camera on a tripod. You cannot use live composite handheld. This has to be on a sturdy surface or definitely just use a tripod. Number three, if you're using the latest Olympus cameras, the EM1 Mark III, the EM1X, and the EM5 Mark III, then you can activate the live composite mode by going to the bulb mode or the B mode on the mode dial. Once you're in the mode dial, you can use the rare dial to select the modes to live composite. If you are using Olympus EPL9 and EM10 Mark III, live composite mode can be activated in the AP mode, advanced photography mode on the mode dial, turn it to AP, and in the menu system, you're able to find the live composite mode. If you are using any other older Olympus cameras, such as EM1 Mark II, EM5 Mark II, Pan F, or EM1, then the live composite mode is hidden in manual mode. You have to shoot in M manual, then you slow down the shutter speed by turning the rear dial, slow it down all the way to 60 seconds, go past 60 seconds to bulb lifetime, and you will reach live composite. Once you're in live composite mode, you can adjust the aperture and ISO as you wish. I typically shoot wide open and set my ISO to 200. This will prevent overexposure in the sky. Lightning can be very bright. To adjust the shutter speed, press menu. Then you can adjust the shutter speed for each image. Adjust the shutter speed accordingly so that you don't get an overexposed or severely underexposed image. I left it to about half a second or one second for my lightning shots this round. You will need to press the shutter button three times in total for the live composite to work. The first one is just to kick off everything, just to get the base image. Then, once you're ready, the second shot is the critical one. Make sure that your focusing point is at the right location. Now, placing the focusing point, or if you're doing manual focus, make sure that your manual focus is accurate. The second press of the shutter button will initiate live composite process. You will see two lines of information. The first one being how many shots has been taken. And of course, the second line is the total duration of live composite that is running on the camera. You can leave this on for as long as you want without worrying about the image being overexposed as long as your lighting doesn't change. So you can just leave the camera on, pointing in the right direction, and hopefully the lightning will strike within your frame. If it does, then you will successfully capture your lightning shot. Once you're done with the live composite, then you have to press the shutter button a third time to stop the live composite and the camera will save a raw file inside the memory card. The Olympus Live Composite Mode has some limitations. It is important that you are aware of them and work within these limitations. Number one, the total duration of Live Composite, the limit is three hours. Number two, the ISO highest limit when you use Live Composite is 1600. You cannot go beyond 1600. And number three, the shutter speed limit for each shot taken in Live Composite is 60 seconds. You cannot go longer than that. That's all the tips I have to share on how to shoot lightning using Olympus Live Composite. I strongly encourage you to try it and I'm sure you'll definitely get an amazing lightning shot yourself. The sun is about to rise. I'm seriously lacking sleep. I should be going back to bed very, very soon. I hope that you found this sharing beneficial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to this channel and I'll definitely produce similar content coming this way. Until the next one, stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.